good Friday morning day two of my day being off um why did I just lose my train of thought okay I hate that I really do so I'm, I'm now recording off of my used to be uh, everyday phone now I'm recording on that my other phone just couldn't hold a lot of memory in it at crazy and all this other stuff so today plan is right now I'm heading to Walmart across town because they tend to have <coughs> better items than the one close to me they seem to never have anything I'm heading to Walmart I'm gonna take you now I did tell you but I only found them in one store these are the Madden um, sandals Madden New York I don't know if that's Steve Madden shoes see that's the style I'm looking at right now. That's this right here. Hold on. This right here. But I don't know if I'm going to get it. I like it. Like, it's nice and heavy. It's really comfortable. All right. So hold on. Let's see. I'm going to try it on. Like the material right here. Does it stretch? So this stretches. I think this stretches. Oh, this really don't have a stretch. But, so this part stretches. But... This part and this part doesn't stretch. And the shoes is heavy. It's almost like having a weapon in your hand. I'm going to try it. I may not get it. $15. I mean, they're nice as well. I wear it is the question. Hmm. Walmart has stepped their game up when they come to shoes. Now look at these shoes. The music is working my nerve. All right, bye. Told myself I had to be at that store at 11 o'clock because I have an appointment with the eye doctor at 11.45. I got 45 minutes, so I gotta stop by the house. I don't know if I should get my old glasses or wait. Stop by the house and grab the old glasses. Not sure. Sir, get off the phone and move. Um. Yeah, so I went to my spot looking for some more fabric paint. And I did see some acrylic, but it wasn't the paint that I need, so I did get two items. I got a Bluetooth keyboard. They had a bunch of these. Got it for six dollars. Um, I have a a um, that's what I got. I have a Kindle Fire, and it, this is compatible with Windows. Um, so blah 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 blah. So I'm hoping. It's compatible with it. I'm not sure. It says Windows and something else. I'm not sure what operating system my Kindle is on or whatever. So it may not be compatible. But I'm keeping it because it's for the future. You never know. And then I had gotten me some um, wet and wavy three-piece bloom bundle hair. So this is what I got. So I can make a curly wig or whatever the case may be. I wasn't looking for the hair, but I mean, that right there for $6 is unheard of. You're not going to find that for $6 at any hair store. You will find it at the hair store for about $20 on up, but other than that, no, $6. So yeah, I wanted the paint. So, I didn't have it, so I came on out. Do I need to stop and get my glasses? Or just go straight in? It's not going to take me 45 minutes. Well, I look like somebody granddaddy. So, ooh, I love Stevie Wonder's music. Okay, so I go to the eye doctor, and I've always had issues with my eyes. Like, they gave me two prescriptions, I never wore it. So, remember I told you that I started watching Dr. Berg, and he talked about the different vitamins you want to take. I went into 
there and she was like your glasses are optional she was like you know they have a machine where they didn't want to look closely at one eye because um just to make sure there's no glaucoma or something she was saying and um you know just to make sure she says a little large um but their equipment the equipment that looks a little deeper is at a different location and my insurance may not cover it so it's three hundred dollars so I told her to go ahead and make the appointment because there's it's it's far out. Like my appointment wouldn't be until August, and um, yeah, cancel that appointment. I'm not going. No, I'm going to go and get me see what um I forgot what vitamins he said it really works good for the eyes. I think his vitamin is K. It's the K vitamins or whatever. Um, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'ma just, I think I already take something that has K vitamins in it. Just boost it up. Baby, I'm not, let me tell you something. I don't have to have glasses, it's optional. I did get my numbers because I, I like the new frames that were, I think you can buy a frame, get a frame free. Some stuff online. I know a girl that works for me is supposed to give me the website. I went and got the numbers and I'ma get me some frames, some cute frames with my optional glasses for cheaper. And then she was like, you know what? There are some glasses that your company will pay for. Oh, you get this kind of something, man. That lady told me $104 for what? I'm going to get them vitamins, keep taking them vitamins, increase them vitamins. And I'm definitely going to go on that website and give me some cute frames because I like the style of them. And then I'll have the lens in them for my eyes. And I forgot because when I was watching Dr. Burke, he said something about if you have night blindness or not night blindness. I call it night blindness. I'm going to stop saying that. I want to speak it over my life because I'm not blind. But it's like where you, when you drive at night, you know, not the vision, not that your vision is clear. It's just a little distorted or little whatever. You need this type of vitamins. That's just what he said. I can't remember what vitamin he said it is, but I'm going to get it. I promise you, I'm going to Firehouse Sub, right? And I know there's a way in it from the side. <laughs> but I gotta get there first because I told you just to let you know my six dollar little keyboard I got. Can I take it? Oh, oh, oh. My six dollar keyboard it worked, it paired. So I am so excited. So whenever I'm searching anything or going on YouTube or need to type anything, I can use it. It doesn't work for anything else as far as I know. I haven't played with anything else to see simply because I want to make sure it works. So yeah. My little cheap little off name brand Bluetooth keyboard is working. <clears throat> I don't know the other stuff that you can do with it. Oh, we got home features. The volume. The, okay. We'll see if all that responds, but it did. So I'm home. I'm about to eat. Take me a nap because I got to be working at 4 o'clock. So I apologize. Hey, I just got off from work like not too long ago. I went to run some errands. And I'm going to show y'all some stuff that I bought. Went to the Salvation Army earlier. Don't ask me why, because I can't remember. And I saw this for $1.99. It's a wine bottle holder. I'm going to be putting a wine bottle in here. But I'm going to design it. And it's going to be for decorations. And then I bought this. Now, I didn't need this, but the style. I got it for $3.99, which is nice. So, it's a backpack. I'm covering this up for a reason. So, we bring it a little closer. See what it looks like? And you just unsnap this. And then you have the top to where you just unzip it. Alright, so this is the inside of it. This is brand new. Um that's inside. And you got the side where you put like um whatever you want to put in. That's a little note that says it's um, made from reused water bottles. And of course you can put some on this side too. And then you have a zip in the back where you can put whatever in there. So this is called Natural Geographic Expedition. Now I'm gonna remove that because I don't want that on there. But I got some plans for this. I don't know what made me get it, but I was like, I really like this. Like, this isn't a bag that you normally see. I just like that style and how it has that clip on it. But I don't want the Natural Geographic thing to be on it. So, I got that. 
And eventually I'll show you what I do with it. Went to the Dollar Tree and got these. It says dish peppermint sage dish soap plant with plant derived ingredients. Okay, so it smells like peppermint and sage and it's more that jelly consistent consistency consistency i did not buy it for that i bought it because these are some beautiful black balls that i am going to take the label off of and reuse them for something else i can get that off i don't worry about that when i saw these black balls i was like what was in it let me get the bottles six dollar um look at my fat trying to cover all that my little cheap little six dollar blue poof blue poof um bluetooth wireless little keyboard is over here do what i need to do all right so quick haul this is the stuff i told you about in another video but you'll be able to see it because i'm about to wash it so um i couldn't pass these up these are a pair of pants do you see these pants they might go to my angle, I'm not sure. But these are some nice pants I could not leave in the store. So I got these. And I do get my bras from the Goodwill and from Salvation Army because them bra prices, no, nah, I think I pay like two or three ninety nine. Who is this by? I don't know who that is. S O M A. But I'll be finding some expensive bras. This is the little thing I told you is a house school, but I'm not going to wear it as such. It is so cute. So this is it. Just the sleeve, little short sleeve, little pockets and stuff. That's not a a loophole. A, you know, the hole for, the, um, for the, the belt to go around. This may not be what it is. It looks like it is, though because of that decoration right there. But I'm not gonna worry about such. And this is the $318 reversible um, raincoat. So it is M-Y-C-R-A pack. So that's who it is. And this is it. I don't know the size, probably small or medium, but check, this is the hood. Do you see the freaking hood on this thing? This is gorgeous. So I'm gonna wash it because I'm gonna go. I need to post it. I don't see the size or nothing on it, and it's a blank label. And the only reason why I could pull up and find the information was because of the name on the button. So yeah, I just want to show you this stuff before I wash it. But yeah, this is the hood. Let's see how much money I can get this off. All right guys, let me finish clean up and I may come back on. Good morning, it's Saturday and I made it to the Goodwill, not the Goodwill, the Salvation Army, I didn't know it even existed. And you know, this area is building up and they got some money over here. It's a smaller location. They have some pretty cool stuff in there, but, and it's a little more expensive over here, which is fine. Um, I did find two items, one I didn't need, but I went ahead and get it because I'm going to replace it with something else. So I got me a hooded hair dryer. Now, I was trying to avoid these type of hair dryers. You know how you have the hair dryers that when you plug it up, it has like on the plug, if it overheats or whatever, it cuts off. This does not have that. And what happens is it always trips my switch and my thing. So what I most likely do is when I use it, I'll use it probably like in the kitchen so if it trips it, I can walk out my back door to my storage room and all the way to the back and I have nothing blocking it, I can just um, trip it again. Um, and then sometimes if it's too hot, the cord starts to get like um, really like a, like a wet noodle like type thing because it's overheating. But that was my fault, but I learned something that, you know, so I do deep conditioning and so my hair, it, the, when I like when my hair is wet and I have whatever I'm putting on it, um, when heat hits it, it opens up the um, what do I, I want to say pores. It's not pores. It opens up the thing in my hair, so my hair can take in the stuff. The one that I have is like a 
bonnet type one where you snap it under your chin I, and I've had that in some of the videos I'm not really a fan of that one I prefer to sit under the dryer so I found one and it's by kiss it's a ceramic something 1875 so I got it for 10 bucks so I did let it run it did have a little burning smell then it went away so I let me know that was dust so I got it for 10 bucks which is an amazing deal so and then I got some Nautica house shoes so I'm gonna clean those holes and disinfect it and they must didn't wear it long because like the bottom is immaculate so since I'm on this side of town um I'm gonna go ahead and stop to the Dollar Tree there's a stop sign there's a stop sign all right I just want to make sure y'all see it because I want y'all to use it so I'm gonna peep it here I'm looking for one item but I noticed that when I go to certain locations I can find like some of the nicest stuff so let's see what I can find inside of this Dollar so, Tree. I did um <laughs> what is that? okay so I'm not I, I lied I'm not gonna make us no I know I, I, I just said that right I probably had the stuff that make it but then I saw this little chopping board so I'm gonna use it and I'll show you why I was hunting this down yeah I would not believe what I found in this store <laughs> it's not my size but I'm I need the whole shirt look at these these are kid size. I could easily sell these for like five, six bucks on Poshmark. I know if I post these, they will go crazy, but I only got certain sizes and it's for kids. This right here is it. But see, I'm not going to sell them. Did I do get two of the same ones? So I'm not selling the shirts. I actually need just the design in the front, but the rest of the shirt, I'm gonna still use because I'm gonna turn them into strings. For my jacket so I was not expecting that my phone about to go dead <clears throat> but how come I'm driving down the road going to a store called City Trends that got some um, remote control lights and I see a brand new Dollar Tree three weeks old and of course I found stuff in there that I wouldn't have saw in any other Dollar Tree so I did get some plaster in a um, little dish. It's like a bowl plate and it has like a little stand. You know how you stand up a picture frame? That's what it's like. So I got that. So I may be putting that little chopping board, but this stopped by Goodwill and I got little holes in a gold bag. Um, and what else did I get? It was something else I wanted to say. I can't remember. Um, so I wish I took y'all inside the Dollar Tree, but the reason why I didn't take the phones is because, like I said, my phone's about to go dead. They got stuff I've never seen. Like, they have freaking, um, like the kitchen drawer liners. They got new styles. They got the blue and white ones now. Like, it is really pretty. Everybody is having a garage sale, like, all over the place. So, yeah, um, they got some really, really nice stuff. Stuff I've never I've not seen before so yeah I'm going home I bought me some cannolis um, I'm gonna put those bad boys out to defrost no I don't need them I'm gonna eat them <laughs> and I do need to make one stop but I'm gonna do that early probably early in the morning early Monday morning because I'm meal prepping Monday so I'll buy the vegetables fresh Monday morning other than that I ain't got nothing else going on. I don't want to go no place else. I want to get in my house. I left my house at a little after 8. Almost 9 o'clock. And it is 10.50. No, I hadn't really been out that long. It just seemed like it. And I'm going back inside my house. Inside. All the way on the inside. Wait, all right. Dollar Tree haul. Just the regular stuff I hadn't seen in a while. And this is a little plate thing I was telling you about that has to stand on the back like a picture frame. I've not seen that. And it's actually going over here. This was a regular picture frame that I just put chalk paint on, but I'm trying to make the area a little smaller. So I want to put, oh, that's so small. So do I want to put it here? Hmm. I like this. I don't want to let this go. See, I originally, 
it was a little sign. You know how you go into restaurants and there's a uh, hole with the big board thing on it that says, um, <clears throat> wait, just to seat you or whatever. That's what I saw a long time ago. So I'm not sure if I want to do this one or this one, but I'm going to have that like rearrange how I'm going to do it. I don't want a lot of stuff in that corner. All right, so these are the Nautica slippers, house shoes that I got, that I told you about for $3.99. This right here is the hair dryer. <clears throat> I got this, but I'm going to cover that up. I like the bag. I got it for $0.99 cents out of Goodwill. And a two for my washer. That's it. All right, so party's over. Let me go and uh, <clears throat> charge this bad boy. So I can, um, I'm sleeping. Charge this bad boy so that I can upload this video. I'm actually currently washing clothes upstairs right now. So I'm going to talk with you guys another time. Um, I am going to do the video about um, Mint Mobile. That'll be the next video just in terms of how this one turns out. All right. Let me put my clothes for another wash. Talk to you guys later.